It's a great small town here. Uh, everybody knows everybody. It's still a friendly place. It's a place you feel safe on the street at night. We probably are one of the last beach towns, original beach towns left in Southern California. The kids we serve, now we're serving their kids. Uh, it just, you know, long many years here at great times. I'm getting a little emotional. <laughs> <of them. laughs> For 40 years, you know, yeah. The name The Palms comes from uh, the hotel that existed here when it was first built. It was built circa 1912 and contained a hotel, post office, and a little restaurant uh, with artesian well-fed rooms. And my grandparents converted the whole place into a restaurant in the late 50s. And uh, my parents worked it in the 80s and 90s and my brother and I have owned it since. The Palms is many things. It's a family restaurant uh, during the dinner hour. Uh, we serve cocktails during the day. There's a lively day bar. And there's also entertainment at night. Uh, we have live entertainment Thursday through Saturday nights. The bar has, has that kind of cheers effect to you where we have our regulars that are here every day. What I see coming in Carpinteria is a buy-in by a lot of people outside of our community wanting to preserve it. When you look at this particular building and its historical significance and the restaurant and its, its significance to the community, it's a landmark and um, you don't replace landmarks easily. They're, the value in a landmark is that it's a landmark. I believe that this particular town is going to be the last on the coast to hold on to its simple lifestyle. We are all fighting tooth and nail to keep it that way. The person who wants to continue this will, will obviously find great support in this community to do just that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's time for a new generation now and uh, time for somebody to continue on and uh, take it to the next limit. We're really excited to find that person.